A lot of revenue was lost during the AWS outage last month. So who pays for the losses? The answer may surprise you. Let's talk about it. So welcome to the Cloud Computing Insider. My name is Dave. So in October 2025, the AWS outage disrupted countless businesses worldwide, causing significant operational delays and financial losses. And you can check out the video here where I did cover it uh, last month. As effective organizations scramble to restore services, attention has quickly shifted toward questions of liability and compensation. Many companies are urgently reviewing contracts and SLAs, hoping to assign responsibility and seek recovery of lost revenue during the downtime. So here are some of the major things to understand about that. And if you are in a position where you were significantly damaged by AWS, pay attention. So like everything in business, it comes down to the contract that you signed. And so in other words, the contract is going to have um, recovery or, you know, some sort of a compensation clause around outages or lost services, um, what they're going to pay for and what they're not going to pay for. Um, you're going to find that they're fairly well one-sided. They're in, written in the favor of the, of the cloud computing provider. And they do do it that way because in many instances, when enterprises sign these agreements, they don't necessarily pay attention to them. Obviously, we, we get the service agreements that we sign all the time, you know, whether we're getting a piece of software, a piece of equipment, things like that. And we don't read them. And in many cases, I think enterprises are in the same boat. 